Mr. Barr, um, if you just stay with us a minute, please. Uh, how long have you been here? I've been here three years and half. Uh, you were just relating uh, a moment ago something of particular interest, I think, to us about your treatment here in the camp. How has it been? My Tell us your story. I've been arrested in November 42 in France. I was in a political organization and I was arrested on the demarcation line <laughs> under suspicion from the spear. There I've been put in prison and afterwards to afterwards I went to Belgium in Brussels. After two months imprisonment in Brussels, I came here in Daco. In Daco I had so, the luck that I came with my false name and I had a better position than the other one because I'm good speaking German, also several languages because I'm medical student. And I had employment and afterwards I was in the staff of the camp. But if I would be discovered like a Jew, I probably long I was killed. Well, you say uh, you did not know that you were Jewish. <laughs> Would your treatment have been different if they discovered that from your treatment as an ordinary prisoner? prisoner? My treatment? Would, it, would your treatment at the hands of the SS who were running the camp have been different if they'd known uh, the, uh, the Jewish Surely. Surely. How different are they? sent to crematorium if they discovered that I was Jew. Or shot or killed or hanged. <laughs> well, you, you didn't uh, make this fact known until such time the American soldiers were here. Only until the American soldiers were here. Yeah. But, you know, I have been arrested uh, two years ago, more than two years ago.